You know, as recruiting professionals, HR professionals, and even as hiring managers, there's two primary questions that we use when we're interviewing candidates. And they're powerful questions. Number one is what? What have you accomplished? What have you done in your career in your last job? It's important to ask that question. The second question is how? How did you achieve that? How did you come to that conclusion? How did you address that particular situation? But there's a third question that in my experience often isn't used, and even when it's used, it's not used to the extent it should be. And that question is why? Sure, we ask it in the context of, so why did you change jobs? Well, I changed jobs because I felt limited. And we move on. Instead of asking the follow-up questions, why did you feel limited? Why did you choose to look for a new job instead of dealing with the issue? Why did you not go to your boss? Why did you go to your boss and what happened? The first why is sometimes easy. The follow-up whys become more difficult. Why do we avoid the question of why? I think there's three primary reasons that we've got to understand. Number one, why can be seen as questioning the other person's motive. So why did you do that? Of course, it depends on how you actually deliver the question. But it can, if we're not careful, the other person can be seen as being questioned. Why did you choose option A versus option B? It's basically the same question, but delivered in a different way. But it can be seen as questioning motive. Issue number two is it can be seen as a personal question. Getting to the heart of the litmus test somebody uses to make a decision is in fact personal. Understanding their drives, their values, which we need to do in an interview, is going to be personal and should be personal. And this is the biggest challenge, is number three, and that's making assumptions. We stop asking the questions why because we revert to making an assumption about why. It's the fastest way to deal with a candidate. The other piece to assumptions is it's based on our own experience. If we've experienced it, it must be right. So we forget to ask the final why. Asking that question, digging deep, it helps us avoid making assumptions. It helps us better understand what's really driving that candidate. And it gets to the root cause when asked over and over and over. But unfortunately, we stop short. So the next time you interview, I'm going to challenge you to think about these three questions first. Number one, what's the question you're going to ask? Very basic. Number two, why are you asking that question? And number three, why is knowing the answer to that question important to you?